The five biggest technology trends that will really give companies a competitive advantage this year. I've recently worked with, with Accenture and they've given me, given me an exclusive on their latest um, technology vision report which they do every year where they try to identify the, the five or so biggest technology trends that will really make a difference. This year's report is called Post Digital, which is quite interesting. Their argument is that companies, their clients, have basically invested massively in digital transformation. So they've put better data systems in place, they've invested in things like artificial intelligence and other tools, and they literally spend one and 1.1 trillion dollars in 2018 to upgrade their, their digital world. And what this report is saying is that actually this has almost leveled the playing field, that simply investing in other technology will not make the difference. And what organizations are now doing is they've put lots of the basics in place, now they need to up their game, they need to do something differently. And this is what I want to look at. So what are the, the five biggest technology trends that can really now push organizations to the next level? So the first trend is a little bit of a cheat because there's actually four trends, but they call this dark power and dark is actually spelled D-A-R-Q and these are acronyms or little abbreviations of D standing for distributed ledger technology. So here they talk about blockchain kind of technologies. I've written a lot about those technologies. So what they're saying is if we advancing with blockchain, with distributed, distributed ledger technology, we can still make a, a difference in our, in our organizations. The second one is artificial intelligence, another topic I regularly write about. Especially machine learning and deep learning applications of all of this can make a real difference, can push organizations. So this is another technology to in this dark uh, area to or a stark section to focus on. The other one is what they call extended reality. So this includes augmented reality and virtual reality. Again, a topic that I have, I have a complete section on my website on how companies can now use AR and VR to make a real difference. So it's about finding better ways of improving your operations using augmented reality finding be better ways of selling your products and I've recently written about companies like Warby Parker and Tencent Heads and how they're actually doing this in practice. And the last key technology in their dark uh, abbreviation is quantum computing. So this is the using computers that are 100,000 times more powerful because instead of having just two different types of, of states, you have lots of different states so you can accelerate computing. So again, I, on my website I explain what quantum computing is and lots of applications for all of this. So the first trend is using things like blockchain, things like artificial intelligence, extended reality and quantum computing. They are the leading edge technology areas that will really help organizations boost their performance. The second trend is all about getting to know your customers better. So we have had this now for many years that companies like Amazon or companies like Netflix are able to understand your past purchase history or your past viewing history and they are able to recommend things to you. What is currently happening is that this granularity of what companies understand about you is increasing. We are living now in this digital world where we have digital fitness trackers and smart watches and smart cars and smart fridges and smart everything and all of this allows companies to have a more granular understanding. So it's this 360 degree view of customers. What the report is saying is that this also brings a challenge for companies because with this greater granularity and greater understanding also comes this necessity to actually develop a trusting relationship because you don't want any company to know everything about you. Companies I've recently um, done another video on is Facebook where I expressed some of the concerns because Facebook knows so much about you and such a granular level 
Should they be doing it? Should they be using it? Should they be more transparent? Do you actually trust them? So this is becoming an increasingly important question for companies and this ability to actually develop a relationship with customers. And it's a bit like developing physical relationships or friendship relationships with people where you and say, okay, over time, I give them a bit more access, I share a bit more information so they get to know me. And I think companies need to look at how they're developing this trusting relationship over time and really give customers something back in return so they can do this. So this granular understanding, 360 degree views of customers built on a trusting relationship is another, is the second key trend that Accenture believes will really push organizations' performance and I, I very much subscribe to this too. The third trend is what they call human plus technology. So what they're saying is technology on their own is great, human skills on their own is great, but actually when you combine them, you really get a spark. And companies, what they need to do is they need to reimagine their workplaces and think about how they can augment people's jobs and their business processes to really get the best out of people and out of machines. I've recently done a video on um, healthcare, for example, and how the role of doctors is changing, which is a great example of all of this, where you can actually combine AI and human skills to really get a better result for patients. And what this Accenture report is talking about is that we now have almost a higher technical maturity level in most of our private lives, we are now used to using apps and technology and that some we are already augmenting our private lives using technology and actually lots of companies are lagging behind which frustrates people where they come into work and have to use outdated systems. So organizations need to think about how they now up their game and actually catch up with some of the things we already do in our private lives and how they can reimagine and reinvent their work processes and people's jobs to actually boost performance. So this is their, their third trend and one I've written about extensively. The fourth trend is about security. This is a big issue with our increasingly digitized world. We have more vectors that cyber attacks can come into. We now have Internet of Things devices. We have more digital components to every part of the business. And this makes the business increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks, to someone stealing data. So what Accenture believes needs to happen is that we need to look at those cyber risks and those data risks instead of looking them looking at them just through a company lens where you say this is we need to make sure our systems are all safe we now have networked systems we've got cloud computing so we need to look at our entire digital ecosystem and actually see where data is flowing outside of our organization is coming back and then we need to make sure that our partners are actually subscribe to the same uh, data security and 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 cyber security principles that we try to implement in our own organization. So they're talking about creating digital security partnerships in, across your entire ecosystem. And I, again, I couldn't agree more with this, this, this point. This will become increasingly important for businesses. And the fifth and final trend is about what they call me markets. So this is about creating or identifying micro markets. Google has talked about this for a long time where they said actually there are these micro moments. So when people are walking to work, when they are in a gym on a spinning machine, when they are Googling for something, how can I eat something healthy here? All these micro moments are actually business opportunities. And I believe and Accenture believes this is that organizations that will be most successful in the future are able to capture those micro moments or identify what their customers are doing and then are able to respond to this via personalized services. So if you could 
personalized a reading list, for example. I'm sitting in my bed saying I want to learn more about changing to a more healthy lifestyle. Suddenly, Amazon, I go to Amazon and they then say, okay, why don't you have a look at these books, these videos, these audio tapes, and so on. So for me, this is a, a big opportunity for companies. It obviously, obviously links to the other point, this better digital understanding of your customers, which then allows you to identify these micro moments. But what companies need to do is they need to also augment their back operations so they can actually, they are able to customize their services and products exactly in these moments for whatever they have identified their customers might want or like. So these are five mega technology trends that will really help boost uh, the performance of businesses. I work a lot, lot in, the, in, in these areas. I help companies understand the implications of all of these technology trends and transformations. I work with them to create digital transformation strategies and, and how they can really leverage these opportunities all of these key trends give so subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more I've got lots of other case studies on there or head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find a lot of articles on all of those key trends and a lot more that will hopefully be relevant to you